Hey everyone, I am Ken Ross and I am a business consultant that specializes in cost reduction for businesses and here with the second part to my four part series on the specific details about saving people money. And the first thing I, I, I did was I kind of gave you an overview, right? That video I've included here, actually I'm included here on this side. I always do this. I go on this side and I, or this side and I go to this side. Anyway, sorry, it'll be on this side up at the top, a link to the original video where I discuss kind of the quick tips on how to do this, right? And if you're savvy enough or computer savvy enough or you kind of get what I'm saying, that's great. But I wanted to go into a little more detail of every step of the process. So the very first video I did that, that goes, goes into the details is the pre-step, right? I talked about this in the, in the first video, which is you need to catalog every service or product that you pay for, right? And I've actually provided a tool and I'm, I'm, I'm doing this on intentionally, right? As far as creating these different steps and then this tool, which is actually a spreadsheet, it's Excel spreadsheet that you can download off my website, IamKenRoss.com, and you can start using yourself. And so in the, in the first video, I talked about cataloging all these vendors, right? Or different people that provide a product or service. And in that spreadsheet, I actually have a tab in there that says vendors, right? And you list all the different vendors that you uh, use, what their contact information is, a way to uh, call them or email them, their website, a person's name, if, if there is a contact name, that kind of thing. This is a really good start to the next part of the process, which is you're going to then take one of those vendors, right? Uh, let's say it's telecommunications, because for my second, my second video, um, for the second thing I'm going to offer you is actually in addition to the first step. So if you've downloaded the example that I have and you've already started filling it out, you're going to have to download the second step to this, which is you're now going to make a, a tab for each product or service that you want to try to do cost reduction on. And I would certainly suggest that you pick one of the, the larger categories of business where you do probably the most uh, spending in. You start at one of those, uh, unless that's really complicated and really arduous that you think it's going to be. But ultimately for this step, it's not actually going to be that bad. So I would take one of those and I would uh, make this new tab for that particular category and I'm going to copy the contact information that's in the first sheet and I'm going to put it in this next sheet and in the next sheet that I provide on my website it really goes through step one which is contacting other people who you know in business that do the exact same type of you know buying or selling or buying of of that product or service right so you're just gonna you're just gonna write their names down right write down a list maybe five people. I, I put five people in this example that I'm providing you on my website and the link is actually going to be in the description of this video, but go to that, that page that on the Excel spreadsheet, look at the telecommunications vendor, right? I actually use my telecommunications vendor, Verizon business, right? In this example, I want you to see a real world example, uh, for this particular exercise, because I think it really hones well on what it is that you're trying to do. So, um, the next, like I said, the next part of that then is writing down the names of the people that you want to contact. So put their names down and start giving them a call. Now it's, it's really difficult to think, oh, what I'm really trying to do is I'm, I'm really out to just beg them to give me information. Well, no, not really. If these are people that you know in business, you can talk about business related things. You can get a good general sense for what it is, um, that, that they pay for these particular services, but now we are actually on a very intentional journey, right? One which, which really takes intentionality, right? Offer to help them save money too in this process, right? Because when you call them and you say, Hey, you know what? I I've been thinking, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get the lowest possible price on the, these services because I really do feel like I may be overpaying for them. I don't know what you think about that, right? Offer to say, hey, look, let's do this together because what I'm going to do is I'm actually calling multiple people, right? So those people's information, if they're willing to share it with you, is also something you could probably share with everyone else, right? And say, hey, look, when I'm done with all of this, um, you could certainly leverage the information yourself as well. And this could, this could benefit all of us. So it becomes 
a multi-win situation, right? Everybody wins when we can share the information. Something that, uh, uh, that really comes to mind when I, when I think about this is that um, if you go to like a concert or some type of uh, celebration, like let's say a wedding, right? You're, you're not there for just yourself. You're there for everyone else too, right? We're all gonna have a good time. We're gonna share in this experience, right? So I wouldn't say throw a party necessarily. That's, that's gonna cost some money, uh, but, but definitely make it a celebration of, hey, look, if we do this right, we're all gonna be winners in the end because we'll be in a, in a better place. So what you're gonna do, like I said, call them up, really get them on board with, hey, provide me some of this information, and then ask them a very simple question, right? Once they've been able to give you a kind of ballpark figure, or maybe they even know exactly, right, how much they pay, ask them a very simple question. Would you mind providing me a copy of your bill? Now that would take it to another level entirely, but that certainly gets you much further along than just knowing a number, right? That's gonna give you the ability to then do some of the other steps that I'm gonna talk about in some other videos going forward. And as, as far as the, the tips that I've given you here, one of the tips I know I, I talked about uh, br briefly and then in, in some detail in the first video is you're gonna call other vendors and you're gonna compare their service to the service that you have. If you have a copy of someone else's bill from another provider, you're gonna be able to do some of that on your own. You don't have to do a bunch of sleuthing. You're not gonna have to call another vendor and ask a lot of questions. So that's, that's kind of the goal with the first step of this savings journey. Now, what, what I would say is this, definitely be conscious and aware that when people are sharing this information that you don't wanna just give it to anyone, right? Keep it amongst a, a good trust circle, a good peop, circle of people that you trust that trust you in business, that, that really want to help you succeed and you want to see succeed as well, because this kind of thing could really get crazy or out of hand in some sense. You could have a lot of people calling you, you could have your own vendor calling you because they don't want you knowing this information. Um, that's one thing I know as a business consultant who does this on a regular basis happens to people. When we enter a, an agreement and we say, hey, look, we're gonna go on this journey and we're gonna find the lowest cost for the services that you need, vendors call their clients at that point because they know their business is on the line. They know that the service that they're offering, it may be good service, but they know what it should cost, right? So that's one of the first things I caution my, my customers with or my clients is I say, hey, look, now that we've entered this agreement, congratulations, <laughs> we are sharing information, right? The fact that we're sharing this among two trusted parties with an agreement here makes this a, a higher risk deal, makes it something that requires a lot of intentionality. And one of those intentionalities is resisting the temptation to let the vendor take over this process. You do not want Verizon or AT&T or T-Mobile or any of the telecommunications providers calling you and influencing you just to take a better deal, right? That's certainly something you, you would like, right? But ultimately, they still hold all the information. And you're doing this process so that you can save the most money. So if you're really out to do that, you have to exercise some level of patience. You actually have to exercise some level of care because you're going to go through the whole journey here. You're not gonna just shortcut it, right? There, there is no sh a shortcut when you make a cake, right? You gotta mix the ingredients, you gotta put all the ingredients together, you gotta have the right ratios, you have to measure things. That's exactly what this process is like, right? It's not just a one and done thing. It's something that takes some time. So with that, that's what I have for step one, calling other people in business that share in the service or the product that you, you offer and ask, or not offer, that you use, right? And ask them what they pay too. It's very simple in, in concept and ultimately is something I think we don't do enough in business, right? I think en enough people think about who a good person is to provide a service, but that could be problematic as well because that person could be exceptional at offering a particular service, but they are still gonna temper their discussion with one client versus another because one client may, may need service A 
at a certain rate for a certain quality of service and another customer might need service B. Or they may just be looking for good referrals because, hey, I offered him such a sweetheart deal. The persons he refers me to, he may tell them at a ballpark what it's gonna be, but I need to recoup some of my expenses, right? Some of my marketing dollars or some of the expense that I took to get this client, right? So the next clients won't necessarily get the same rates that the client that got such a great rate was for because you were almost used in some sense as a pawn in their game, right? If you receive such a great rate on a particular service or such a great deal on something, you're gonna tell everybody. You're gonna be like, oh, look at this deal I got. This is, this is amazing, right? That doesn't mean that they have to provide you the same deal just because you know that person. So I do wanna caution you on that. Right? I do want you to understand that, that this is a process. This process takes time. And if you can give it the time that's necessary, it will reward you in the end. So that's what I have. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this, this whole thing. I'd love to hear uh, other topics that we can cover. I know this is kind of, um, like I said, a longer format to uh, a shorter video at, at the beginning, but I wanna give you this detail because I really do feel like if you follow any of the steps that I'm, I am giving you, you are gonna save money. And that's something I really wanna see happen. I have a goal, and like I said in the first video, 52 people this year, that's one a week for me, personally, that I've helped by either watching these videos or working with personally out in the business world or what have you. And I'm, I'm well on my way to, towards doing that. So uh, that's, that's what I got. Yes, please subscribe to this channel. Please tell your friends about these videos that I'm producing about this particular journey I'm on. Share with them my goal. I'm really looking forward to hearing people say, I saved, you know, <laughs> I don't know, I think of some of the other commercials where you're like, oh, you could save 15% in 15 minutes. That's not what this is, right? This is actually something that requires more care, right? It's actually something that you're gonna take a lot of pride in. And in the end, I take a lot of pride in knowing I've navigated people through that. So that's the reason why I wanna know. So if you are able to save money doing any of these things, please comment down below. Let me know, hey, I did, I did something today with your help. And I would love to celebrate that with you in the comment section. I'd love to hear your own comments about what I'm saying, about other topics that we can cover uh, in business because I'm always doing research for businesses on different topics as well. And please also subscribe to this channel, like it, tell your friends, um, it would be great. And visit my website, IamKenRoss.com. And until next time, I'll see you around.